Hey guys, welcome to episode 1 of this new series. Now, in this series, I'm going to be showing you guys me just progressing through the new uh, 2007 scape. Um, so this is going to be really interesting, really fun. Um, I'm looking forward to all of this. I just think it's going to be a great time. And also, quick shout out to my friends chat, so feel free to join. Just X Terminator X. And also, if you guys would like me to live stream in the future, just uh, let me know in the comments section. Wow, this is absolutely amazing. I never thought I would ever uh, be able to, you know, walk up to Varrock the old way that you uh, used to back in the uh, old school. But this is just completely awesome. I remember back whenever I started in like, it was either late 2008 or early 2009 whenever I started playing. So, um, it was or free trade and uh, wilderness was already taken out of the game but still some of the graphics were the same it had the uh, HP HP bar up here by the mini map and hold on my phone's ringing so as I was saying this is um, just absolutely amazing I'm really looking forward and uh, I deleted this video but an old private server video of mine I had uploaded before had one of my really good friends in real life, uh, Brennan, and I don't know, possibly in the future I might make a couple videos uh, with in 2007 Scape or even live stream with him. So if you guys would want me to do that, that would uh, be pretty awesome. Uh, just let me know. Um, so uh, what I'm gonna go do now, Keith, we probably can't tell, but I'm going to be going up to the uh, stronghold of six. Yeah, the stronghold of security, and I'm going to check the stronghold of safety because if you can still do that, you can go to the stronghold of safety and get like an additional five or ten k, two experience lamps, and combat gloves. So, um, yeah, chef's hat. I love the chef's hat. The chef's hat was like, I, I always remember picking these up whenever I was a would be training at, on at goblins whenever I was a noob and a lag yeah whenever I was a little noob I always remember picking up the uh, chef's hat and going shell shelling selling them at the uh, general store for like five or ten GP each remember like after like an hour or two of doing that I made like 5k it's extremely happy also these wooden shields and I've always had a fascination with these wooden shields I always thought those were awesome too I uh, I remember whenever there were, well, whenever I started, I was exploring and I found the Grand Exchange. So I decided to travel north of it, of the Grand Exchange, by the uh, Wilderness Ditch Line, back where uh, Malt's High is. And I remember finding the wooden shield on the ground. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I picked up a bunch of those, made maybe another one or two K. You know, at this point, these are still my early noob days. And I thought that having like 10 or 20k was bank. And um, another thing with Brennan, he had been playing like one or two years before I had. So we were traveling through Al Qaeda in the desert, and um, I think I was like level 20 or something, and he was like level 19. And there are the scorpions back there on the mine. And uh, oh my gosh, this is so sweet, amazing. But anyway, so we had found that. And I had um, killed one of the scorpions, and we were both just uh, shocked at that, like, you know, I could kill a level 20 or 30 scorpion or whatever. I also remember training on the, these wolves and these minotaurs. I would train on these for hours upon hours. That would just be... These, just these old memories of the real old RuneScape back in my, the noob days. Um, these are just some of the best memories I have in RuneScape. Uh, I always thought it would just be so fun just to sit down and, whenever I didn't know how to play the game, just figure it all out. And then, you know, once you figure something out, you feel extremely accomplished. Which is just one of the best th uh, thrilling feelings that I had ever had in RuneScape and I have not had one of those in a long time so I hope with playing 2007 that I will uh, get those feelings again and I will get 
uh, basically obsessed with the game again. Another thing I remember, I'll, I'll come down here to the second level, I remember just sitting down here fighting the f uh, flesh crawlers for hours just to get the uh, herbs. Um, then I remember reading, or not reading, but watching a video on YouTube that was showing you that if you like sat down and buried the bones off of the rats, you would get these, uh, you're like guaranteed to get these random events. I don't know, I was, uh, I was upset that are not upset but obsessed with random events so just uh, another another fond memory of mine I decided to only do the first two levels because I didn't want to die down there since I don't have any food on me but uh, no I don't quite remember if they have the stronghold of safety or not but if they do I'm going to go down there and see if I can uh, get anything alright so I guess it's not here which is a real bummer but, um, this is going to conclude it for episode one. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And just let me know if you want me to keep making these videos. And what you didn't, didn't like, and what you want me to do and talk about in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys, and peace out.